Question 19. In triangle OPQ, OP, vector OP is equal to vector P, vector OQ is equal to vector Q, then point M lies on OP such that OM is to MP is equal to 2 is to 3, and point N lies on OQ such that ON is to NQ is equal to 5 is to 1. Line PN intersects with MQ at X. So we have the triangle. In part A, we are required to express in terms of vector P and Q, P, uh, vector PN and vector QN. This question is from the topic of vectors 2, which is taught in form 3. Now, we need to interpret the statement that has been given. So, in this triangle, OP is vector P, and then OQ, O to Q, is vector Q. Then M lies on OP such that OM uh, is to MP is 2 is to 3, implying that OM is 2 over 5 of P. Then MP is 3 over 5 of P. And then uh, ON, a uh, point N, lies on OQ such that ON is equal to 5 is to 1, implying that ON is 5 over 6 Q, and then NQ is 1 over 6 Q. Now we are required to express in terms of vector P and Q, uh, Pn. So to determine the value of vector Pn from P to N, we will need to move from P to O. So Pn is equal to PO plus ON. Now PO is the negative of OP, so this is negative P plus ON. ON is 5 over 6, 5 over 6 Q. Now obtaining the value of vector PN is 1 mark. Then obtaining the value of or expressing QM in terms of PQ, to move from Q to M, we need to follow the root Q to M is equal to QO, QO plus OM, OM. The value of vector QO, QO is a negative of OQ, so this is negative Q plus OM, OM is 2 over 5 P. Now getting the uh, value of vector QM is another one mark.